We are geeking out about hydrographs today because, well, we've been seeing a lot of those river levels rising. Not talk about power balls, though. So if we could throw over our weather graphics to see one of those hydrographs of those river levels that are rising, we continue to see that at least we've got the dry weather across the area. We've been seeing plenty of that blue sunshine across the area, which has really helped kind of dry us out, which is Welcome news for folks dealing with the flooding. Still do have at least 11 flood warnings across the area. Here's that hydrograph. You can see it. Uh, this is the flood, uh, the hydrograph for folks in Sheboygan. So this is the Sheboygan River at Sheboygan. You can see the peak out that we had over Thursday. Those blue lines show where the water levels were. Now you see those little zigzags. Those are actually what happened during the day. You get some of the melting, some of the heating during the day, and the river levels increase overnight. Temperatures drop below freezing. You don't have the melting, and then those river levels start to drop. So we are continuing to watch the Sheboygan River fall into the minor flood stage and we'll soon get in, be getting into the action flood stage and get that water inside the banks. Folks in Jefferson County, though, the Rock River as well as the Crawfish River, we're slowly watching those water levels continue to climb. It's going to be a slow rise, but still going to be at the moderate flood stage for the next couple of days, even into the weekend.